How can we develop courage? Number one, we should have a firm belief or trust in God. It was seen in Esther in going to the king to save her people. In Esther chapter 4, verse 16, it said, Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Sushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so I will go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. It was also seen in Joseph of Arimathea in asking for the body of Jesus. He went boldly unto Pilate and requested the body of Jesus. In Mark chapter 15, verse 43, it said, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate and craved the body of Jesus. So the second way to develop courage is by refusing to be afraid and facing your fears. It was seen in Jab in reproving King David in 2 Samuel chapter 19, verse 5 to 7. Remember, where the word of the king, there is power. If you speak to the king anyhow, you can be killed for that. But Jab here took courage to speak to David. In 2 Samuel chapter 19, verse 5 to 7, it says, the Bible says, And Jab came into the house to the king and said, Thou hast shamed this day the faces of all thy servants, which this day have saved thy life and the lives of thy sons and of thy daughters and the lives of thy wives and the lives of thy concubines, in that thou loveth thy enemies and hatest thy friends. For thou hast declared this day that thou regardest neither princes nor servants. For this day I perceive that if Absalom had lived and all we be dead this day, then it had pleased thee where. Now therefore arise, go forth, and speak comfortably to thy servants. For I swear by the Lord, if thou go not forth, there will not tarry one with thee this night, and that will be worse unto thee than all the evil that befell thee from thy youth till now. Hallelujah. So it was also seen in Nehemiah in refusing to take refuge in the temple. In Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 11 to 13, the Bible says, And I said, Should such a man as I flee? And who is there that, being as I am, will go into the temple to save his life? I will not go in. And lo, I perceived that God had not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me, for Tobiah and Sambalat have hired him. Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid, and do so, and sin, and that they might have matter for an evil report, <laughs> that they might reproach me. So the third way to develop courage is by daring to defy the status quo. It was exhibited by the apostles in the face of persecution. In Acts chapter 5, verse 21, the Bible says, And when they heard that they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught, but the high priest came, and they that were with them, and called the council together, and all the senate of the children of Israel, and sent to prison to have them brought. In Acts chapter 5, verse 29 to 32, the Bible says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you slew, and hanged on a tree. Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, whom God had given to them that obey him. So this was also exhibited by Paul in going to Jerusalem despite his impressions that bonds and imprisonment awaited him. In Acts chapter 20, verse 22 to 24, say, And now, behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnessed in every city, saying that bonds and affliction abide me. 
but none of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto me, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Hmm. Acts chapter 24 verse 14, it says, But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Kai, the fourth way to develop courage is by being bold to declare your convictions. As seen in Paul before Felix, in Acts chapter 24, verse 25, he said, And as he reasoned of righteousness, temperance, and judgment to come, Felix trembled and answered, Go thy way for this time. When I have a convenient season, I will call for thee. The fifth way to develop courage is by being filled with the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 4 verse 13 says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took notice of them that they had been with Jesus. But of course, it was when the Holy Spirit came upon them that they became, became bold. Remember, they were afraid in the upper room in one accord until the Holy Spirit came that they went out with boldness to proclaim even the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the sixth way to develop courage is by praying for it. Acts chapter 4 verse 29 to 31. The Bible says, And now, Lord, behold their threatening and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they speak the word of God with boldness. 